For the first time in a while, I feel like it's gotta be optimistic to be a Charlotte Hornets fan right now. You maybe have two franchise guys on your roster currently, Lamella Ball and Brandon Miller. You traded off your veterans at the deadline for future draft capital, including Gordon Hayward, PJ Washington, and Terry Rozier. You also have some other young players as well that have bright futures potentially in Mark Williams and Nick Smith Jr. And you have the sixth overall pick in this draft as well. You got a new head coach, new front office, new ownership. Maybe it's a different time in Charlotte. So what is going on everybody? How is everybody? doing today we are going to be rebuilding the number six pick charlotte hornets now i don't know if charles lee is a free agent out here if so we will pick him up because he's the new head coach of the charlotte hornets glad they're finally moving on from steve clifford i feel like their ceiling as a team was just so limited with him there all right so he is in this game but unfortunately there is a chance that the celtics block it and i'm not able to pick him up so let's see if i give charles lee a four-year deal will the celtics make this kind of annoying yeah, they do. Hold on one second. Because I'm pretty sure I can also control the Celtics and this may be okay. I'm not sure. I just don't want this to get blocked. All right, there we go. We're able to pick up Charles Lee as our head coach. So yeah, a new time here in Charlotte. And I'm excited about this team's future because we do have LaBella Ball. Now he has struggled to stay healthy, but he has all the potential in the world. Great size for a point guard. Still young. Good defensive potential. Can shoot, can pass, can score inside. We just need him to stay healthy and mature a little bit. For Brandon Miller, you could not have asked for a better rookie season. He he showed three level scoring. He tried on the defensive end of the floor. He looked comfortable out there. And he's one of the best players in this league under the age of 20, like two right now, I would say. Mark Williams, now he has had his injury concerns as well in the first two years of his career. So I'm not saying it's set in stone that he's the franchise center, but he's a good guy to have. I think I'm going to let Miles Bridges walk in the offseason. Like I said, it's a new era here in Charlotte. I would have liked to maybe get some draft capital in return for him, but we're going to move on. We are going to have a completely new environment here. I like Nick Richards as a backup five. They got Trey Mann in that Gordon Hayward trade. I think that was a great job. I don't love Grant Williams as a player, but he's still a good veteran to, I think, have in the locker room. I mean, he's up there in the NBA uh, Players Association, and I'm still high on Nick Smith as a bench scorer for us going forward. So we are here at the night of the 2024 NBA draft. I would look at Reed Shepard. I could look at Stephon Castle. Hey, maybe Buzelis or Cody Williams who could potentially take Reese Shea Falls. Maybe we go Ron Holland. Probably not going to go Jalen Tyson. There still should be some good talent for us on the board, and we're going to be making our pick. So Alex Argo's number one to Atlanta. Number two, Washington is going to be trading the pick. Okay. And Corey Kispert for Trey Young. <laughs> Okay, Washington says we're speeding up this rebuild and we're trading for Trey Young. And then Washington has one and two in this draft and they're getting T. John Solana too. Okay, kind of crazy, right? Number three is Rob Dillingham to the Houston Rockets. Four is Cody Williams. Don't take Reed Shepard. They take Stephon Castle. I am going to take Reed Shepard here. I know there's Nikola Topic. You could maybe move Lamelo to the two, get a good backup point guard as well. But I think Shepard could play backup point guard in a pinch. I doubt Reese Shea falls to six on draft night. So I'm going to take someone that I think realistically could go to the Charlotte Hornets. And I'm a big fan of Reed Shepard in this draft. Unless, did he go when I'm tripping? Nah, he is there. 20 years old. In my opinion, the best shooter in this class. Can play backup point guard. And we're going to slot him in as our starting shooting guard next year in between Lamelo Ball and Brandon Miller. And in the second round, I'm getting Nikola Jerosic as well. Can finish at the rim, can handle the rock a little bit. Still a raw feel for the game. I got to watch him up close um, in person at the Combine this year. He's a fun project play. Yeah, I still can't believe Trey Young was traded for the second overall pick. That it was uh, that was insane. I was probably going to take Cody Williams if Shepard was off the board. So Jerosic will definitely spend time in the G League. Bertans, I guess it's a partial guarantee. We're going to decline that. I mean, I don't mind having a 31-year-old in the locker room, but I think Charlotte, because I do think that they should try to get veterans this offseason. Your Royce O'Neal's of the world, your KCP, try to get guys with championship experience that could also lead this locker room as well, because it's still a very young uh, team. So I think we need some adults in the room. Uh, that's why I'm not going to bring back Miles Bridges. I don't think I'm going to bring back Pukashevsky either. So currently we do have um, a pretty deep roster with guys that could potentially be in the rotation next year. Because like we do have a Mello Ball. We have Misic who showed honestly solid playmaking ability when he uh, got traded to Charlotte. And we have Nick Smith Jr. We have Mann, Shepard. We do have Cody Martin. We have Seth Curry. We have Nikola Jirosic. We have Miller, obviously. Grant. I mean, like, I don't really think I'm going to sign a big name this offseason. But a good veteran could be LeBron. I'm not getting LeBron. That would be kind of funny, though. Goran Dragic is here. Rudy Gay. James Johnson. Honestly, yeah, let's get James Johnson in the locker room. Let's get DeAndre Jordan in the locker room. Uh, Blake Griffin did retire. Let's get Isaiah... T no, actually, we don't want Isaiah Thomas in the locker room. I'll get Patty Mills in the locker room. And let's get Jermichael Green uh, in the locker room eventually as well. So we get Johnson, Jordan, Patty Mills. Jermichael Green is going to follow. We are going to renounce the rights on Poku. Uh, Miles Bridges, let's sign Jermichael Green. Oh, actually, that would take us over the limit of players. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to release anybody right now, though. So I guess we're not going to go after... Um, 
We're not going to bring in Jermichael Green, I guess, because we actually have a decent amount of young talent. I'm not going to cut JT Thor, even though I don't think he has a super high ceiling on this team. Did the Hornets, am I forgetting? Did they release James Booknight? If so, wow, what a failure of a pick. Uh, yeah, he's a free agent right now. I guess they didn't pick up his team option. The 2K wants him to get $12 million. All right. I assume LeBron is just going to sign with the Detroit Pistons. It always happens. So Brandon Miller is up to an 85 overall. The Melo Ball is a 90. Hopefully Reed Shepard could be a beautiful complimentary piece of those two. I'm still okay with landing a top five pick in the draft next year, but that is it. That is the last year that I want to be picking in the lottery. Unfortunately, we do have to cut two people before the season starts. So I don't know if I want to cut any of the veterans. Bryce McGowns, I don't really want to cut him. I may actually cut JT Thor. I know a former high second rounder, but I just don't think he's got a spot on this team. Probably should move Cody Martin as well. I think I'm going to release uh, Seth Curry. I know it's a veteran, but we have plenty of them on the roster right now. Let me actually see if I can move Cody Martin. And I'm actually going to trade Cody Martin to the OKC Thunder. They're going to absorb his $8 million a year salary. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Bryce McGowan's over JT Thor. So this is what the 10-man bench is going to look like, or the 10-man rotation. Lamelo, Shepard, Miller, and then we got the Williams uh, front court basically there with Grant and Mark. We have Trey Mann, Nick Smith Jr., Nick Richards, two Nicks off the bench. Bench. We have Bryce McGowns, uh, Misich there as the 10th man uh, in the rotation. I'm going to send Nikola Jurisic to the G League, the Greensboro Swarm. And balance under Charles Lee, we are two and a half stars. I mean, we could go to post-centric. I don't really think we have a post-centric offense right now. First game of the season at home against the Char or excuse me, against the Detroit Pistons. We get a win. Let's go. 133-122. Mel puts up 32 points. Mark Williams put up 27 Brandon Miller, 23, 15, 7, and 5 to train, uh, from Trey Man. We love to see it. Maybe now becoming the best man in the NBA, beating Terrence. Nick Smith Jr., okay. Knocked down 10 threes in our second game of the year. Had 32 points. We just beat the Celtics, but then we get blown out by the Minnesota Timberwolves. All right, that definitely humbled us. All right, so we are here at the 2025 trade deadline, and we're actually doing pretty well. We are 27 and 25, which is seventh in the Eastern Conference right now, which honestly, I'll take 16 and 10 at home, 11 and 15 on the road, 8 and 10 in the conference. Um, points per game, we're 11th in the East. Our defense under Charles Lee is top five in the East. Okay, we got guys buying in on the defensive end of the floor. This is truly a new environment and a new era of Hornets basketball. Lamelo, 22 points, five rebounds, seven and a half assists a night. Solid efficiency. Brandon Miller's numbers are up this year as well, going from 17 points to 20 points, going up in rebounds, up in assists, down in turnovers, which I will definitely take. The field goal percentage is the same. Three-point percentage is slightly down. Free throw percentage is slightly up. I'll take that from Brandon Miller in year number two. Nick Smith Jr., what a surprise, man. Shooting 43% from three off the bench. He has been a microwave scorer for us. Reed Shepard has been efficient like he was at Kentucky this past season, and he's rebounding, he's passing, he's playing some good defense. We love that. Mark Williams giving me good production at the five. Trey Mann's been good off the bench. Grant hasn't been great, but we don't really have a good enough replacement, so he's going to be there throughout the rest of the season. Misic has been bad. Ah, uh, I mean, we could we could take out Misich, and then we could probably put in uh, I'll probably put in JT Thor because I don't really think I'm going to make a trade at the deadline. And if we somehow made the playoffs, I'll probably and like Thor plays well, he will start over Grant Williams, or I'll just start Nick Richards. I could also bump down Brandon Miller to the four. So do we have anybody in the award races right now? Not an MVP. Reed Shepard, front runner to win Rookie of the Year. That would be pretty sick. Um, and that is it right now. And then if we check uh, or take a look here at contract extension deadline, we have nobody here that we're going to resign. Bryce McGowan's probably not. JT Thor does not want to come back. Good to know. All right, so Nikola Jokic ended up winning MVP. He averaged 26.7 points, 12 rebounds, and about 10 assists a night. Alex Sarr ended up getting rookie of the year over Reed Shepard, unfortunately. Josh Hart was your sixth man of the year. Wemby Depoy, Sword Thompson, most improved. Anthony Edwards, clutch player of the year. Mark Dabnow, coach of the year. And John Murphy, executive of the year. So we didn't get a level ball on an All-NBA first team. I think it will happen in this video, nor All-NBA second team. But we did get him on All-NBA third team. Hey, I will definitely take that. We didn't get anybody on an all-defensive team. Reed Shepard did make all-rookie first team. I'll take it. And we actually finished the season as the four seed in the Eastern Conference. Are the Charlotte Hornets back? 46 wins for the Hornets. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to be going up against the five-seeded Toronto Raptors in round number one. That's a team that also brought back Precious Achua. So I'm excited to see what this team can do in the playoffs. Let's just get some playoff experience under our young guys' belt. And let's see what we can do. Pretty much everybody in the rotation is playing their first career playoff series. Maybe besides, yeah, it's pretty much besides Grant Williams that's like actually in the rotation. Game number one goes to the Charlotte Hornets. We just shot 52 points in the fourth after holding them to 14 points in the third. 
That is what I'm talking about. Game number two goes to the Charlotte Hornets. We ended up winning by 19 points. Lamella Ball, 34 and a half points, six rebounds, nine assists throughout the first two games. Hell yeah. Reed Shepard's been great so far as well. Super efficient. Game number three does go to the Toronto Raptors. We ended up losing by six. Uh, Lamella Ball was great. Brandon Miller has struggled in the playoffs, unfortunately. Game number four goes to the Charlotte Hornets. We just beat them by five. So Brandon Miller... You know, bounces back with a strong game there. Mark Williams has been pretty much uh, expected in the playoffs. The Lavelle Ball has been a beast of a number one option. Game number five. We just won a playoff series. Hell yeah, man. Bryce McGowan stepping up after I included him in the rotation. I mean, Brandon Miller, four for nine. Reed Shepard, four for 15. Nick Smith, four for 11. But Mark Williams, Bryce McGowan, and Lamelo Ball stepped up. We're going to be taking on the Cavs in round number two. Um, a team that's probably going to beat us. But you know what? I'm glad to be in round number two. The 76ers advanced. Um, their team just does not look that good. They're taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, could we beat Cleveland? I doubt it, but if we could win one game, I would take that. Evan Mobley destroys us in game number one. Game number two goes to the Cleveland Cavaliers. They end up blowing us out. All right, yeah, I, we're probably going to lose game three, and that is the case. We ended up losing by three, 113, 110. All right, can we at least win one game? Can we avoid the sweep? Yes, let's go. I will take a gentleman sweep. I am very cool with that. So a success of a season in my opinion. Oh, we just won game six? Oh, or excuse me, game five. We forced the game six. Oh my God, are we going to force the game seven? Oh my God. I was ready to just be happy with a gentleman sweep. Here we are forcing a game seven. Oh my God, what's going to happen here? What is going to happen here? All right, we are currently down by eight. I mean, this would be the upset of a century. 2K's golden child, the Cavs in the Eastern Conference. We are down by two in the third quarter against. Brandon Miller is showing up. Oh my God, make this close. This would be so fun to hop into. Please, we're down by two. Oh my God, we're down by five. Three and a half minutes left. Let's try it, man. This would be insane coming back down 3-0. All right, so who do we have in right now? Trey Mann is in. Um, Reed Shepard is currently playing power forward. Okay, I should probably... All right, I'm gonna use the timeout, actually. All right, so we got Lamella Ball in, who's got 12 points. Not a great game, but Brandon Miller is stepping up after he wasn't playing that well to start off the playoffs. Let's chuck that. Three! Lamella Ball makes it a two-point game. Damn, Reed Shepard's got 20 and six. Brandon Miller's got 32. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I mean, we could move Brandon Miller to the four. Grant, help out here. Good, good. Oh, Shepard's got a tough test, man, guarding Donovan Mitchell. Um, they kick it over to Garland. All right, Lamella stay in front. Mark Williams, 8, 11, and 4, guarding Evan Mobley. This is fine. I will take that. No way. He misses it. Let's go. We have a chance to take the lead or tie the game here. 247. Shepard, uh, find Lamelo Ball in the corner. Are we going to get him in the air? Come on. Take take Garland. You were like three inches bigger, Lamelo. Come on. Go up with it. Go up with it. Lamelo Ball with the layup. Let's go. <laughs> tie game. We are really about to come back down 3-0. This is kind of crazy. All right. Brandon Miller help. Uh, Shepard guarding Donovan Mitchell is so scary. Kicks it over to Garland. They're going to work the pick and roll. We're here. We're here with Lamelo. I need you to stay in front of Mobley, Garland. I mean, that or uh, Grant, that's not a great matchup. Garland misses it. Oh my God, kick it over to Brandon Miller. We're, we're chilling, we're chilling. I mean, we could run the floor. Let's go. Brandon Miller, I kind of want to take this to the rim. All right, Lamella Ball, using the screen. I kind of want to take that. Uh, I didn't get anything there. I, uh, Acoro is guarding me. This is not the matchup we want. Kick it over to Lamello. Oh man, this is not a good matchup whatsoever. Yeah, Lamello's got to chuck that up. All right, not a good possession. They clamped us up. But our defense has been very good so far, so let's keep it up. They're going to kick it over to Donovan Mitchell, please. Oh my God, he misses it. That was a quick release. Kick it over to Lamello. We're chilling. This would be the craziest comeback ever. Down three. Oh, to the Cavs. Shepard, open three, please. The Rook. The rookie stepping up and a clutch shot with 90 seconds to go. He's got 23 points. Man, Charles Lee, everybody's getting it done. Oh, this isn't good. I need to help defense, Mark. Come on. Damn, they're leaving Grant Williams open. Oh, my God. We got Mobley in the air. Uh, I don't know what to do. Kick that over to Mark. Mm, okay, I, I, let's get the ball out of the paint. Let's get the ball out of the paint. We got to swing it. All right, come on here, Mark. Set a screen for Shepard. Donovan Mitchell guarding him. Let's go to the rim. Shepard gets around Jared Allen. The Kentucky one. Oh. I'm in like a, a new kind of setup in my office here. And I almost just knocked down like my plaque buttons there. That was kind of, uh, dude, I am, I'm losing my mind right now. I can't believe we were down 3-0. I was cool with the gentleman sweep. And here we are up game seven on the road. Mitchell knocks that. Okay, okay. It's not over yet, man. All right, let's waste a lot of time on the shot clock. And let's let, like, I don't know, man. Melo can get by. I got to, I'm not calling him Melo. No, Melo is Carmelo Anthony. He's Lamelo. All right. I am nervous. All right, let's get the screen. Um, I'd rather it be Mark Williams, but I guess here we go, Grant. Lamelo, get go right at Garland. Okay, that's getting to the line. Oh my God, it won. We can't be stopped offensively. Garland cannot guard you, Lamelo. Please hit your free throw. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Are you kidding me? That could have made it a four-point game. Oh my God, three-pointer ties it. This isn't good. Ian Mitchell gets a great look. Of course he does. Of course he does.
Man, where was the hell defense there? Or who was guarding him? What is Shepard doing? Where is Shepard going? Oh my God. All right, here we go. We're getting the final shot. Uh, I'm just holding it with Lamelo here. All right, I'm gonna call the screen. Mark Williams is gonna set it on the inside. Oh man, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Seven seconds. Mark cut to the rim. Oh God. Okay, why did they never work? Lamelo, Lamelo, please send us game. Oh. Damn it, overtime. Come on, this isn't good. Uh, I just feel like overtime on the road against the one seed, the Cavs of all teams. Odds aren't in our favor right now. All right, just don't lose this, please. We're down by one. This is fine. We're up by, okay, down by one again. Don't let them pull ahead. Up by one. Two minutes, I'm gonna hop in. All right, we're down by one. We're fine. We're on defense. I think like looking at this team, the spot I want to upgrade in the offseason for sure is gonna be the Grant Williams power forward spot. Are they gonna throw it to Mobile here? Okay, uh, that is stupid on me. I tried reaching and I'm gonna pay for that. Shepard can't get open on the screen. Oh, this isn't good. Shepard gets to the rim. Oh my God, he's gonna turn it over. And we got three seconds. Damn it, man. We're gonna have, oh my God. Thank God that was a violation because they were about to get a wide open dunk. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okoro is doing that. Oh, that's on me. We gotta score pretty quickly. Uh, Lamelo Grant, okay. Uh, kick that out to Brandon Miller. Brandon, oh my God, it's a mid-range jumper. All right, that's fine. I needed a three. Brandon Miller's got 34, man. What a star-making performance from the second year man out of Alabama. Shepard, oh my God. Can't leave him any space. That hurts. They haven't missed in the four or in overtime. Lamelo go up. He's gonna get that. He's got 24 and 10, man. I mean, it's still far from over. Damn, Shepard's got 27 and seven in game seven. So many star making performances. Oh, he's cooking him on defense though. All right, trying to get inside with Lamelo. I created separation. He's gonna go up with the left hand. It's too easy for Lamelo, man. Down by four, but we need to get a stop defensively. All right, stay in front of Mitchell, man. He's turning it up a notch. Oh, what? Why didn't I didn't even reach. That was the computer. That sucks. What are we doing? All right, Shepard, you gotta get on Mitchell. I gotta help here with Mark because he's gonna cook him. He's gonna cook him here. But okay, please. Mitchell, he misses that. Huge miss. Kick it up. Okay, that almost got stolen. We're good. We're good. We gotta score. We gotta score quickly. Uh, kind of a two for one here. Lamelo, go inside. He's gonna make that. Where's the and one? Come on, man. That should have been a foul. Damn, they almost got a five second violation there. Shepard, do not foul. Do not foul, Shepard. Mark Williams has to help. Mark Williams has to help. All right, Grant inside there. Oh, Evan Mobley for three. No way. He misses it. Okay, kick it over to Lamelo. All right, Reed. I like this. I like this for you. You hit this in the fourth. Let's get you an open three and let's win this game. I'm not going to double overtime. Shepard, where are you going? Get around the screen. Shepard, mm, that's not a great look. That's not a great look. All right, we don't need it. We don't need a three. We don't need a three. Lamelo. Lamelo. Please, please. No. Oh. Oh, that was a good look, too. Oh, we almost had double overtime. I knew it wasn't meant to be. Damn, man. Everything wasn't going our way. We were down 3-0. I'm getting lucky coming back and coming back. I did not expect to play in Game 7 of the NBA quarterfinals here in the Eastern Conference. And here we were. We had a chance to win it. I know you guys hate my, my, my 2K skills. They're not great. But I don't think I blew that, but maybe I did. That is a crazy game seven. Donovan Mitchell had 51. Craig Porter Jr. had 27 points in 16 minutes. Excuse me. Lamelo had 28 and 10. Brandon Miller had 34. Shepard had 27 and 7. Damn, that's... Uh... That sucks to see that we got eliminated. All right, so you have the Cavs and the Bucks, two Central Division teams in the Conference Finals, two Northwest Division teams in the Conference Finals as well. And you have the Cavs and the Thunder, of course, in the NBA Finals, and the Thunder sweep them. This is anything like the Pacers rebuild. I am scared of playing the Thunder. They were unbeatable. So all our vets retired. Patty Mills, James Johnson, and DeAndre Jordan, unfortunately. We're going to have to get some new vets on this team to kind of ride the bench for us. LeBron and Russ are heading to the Hall of Fame. And I believe the Spurs are going to get our first round pick, yes, at 22. There is protections on it, but since we made the playoffs, they are going to get it. So we will not have our first round pick. But shout out to Charles Lee. Man, great job as our head coach in year number one. So we are here the night of the NBA draft. Uh, I don't mind Grant Williams coming off the bench but I don't want him to start for us next season. All right, so we did end up with two second round picks. We got a guy named Noah and a guy named Kerry Booth. Um, we are going to sign both these guys right now. Uh, Cooper Flagg ended up going to the Memphis Grizzlies, which is pretty sick. We're going to pick up the team options on all these guys, Jurisic as well, but not Misi. So we're going to have a little bit of cap space. I mean, I hope there's a good power forward in free agency that we can go after. I would like to bring back Trey Mann as well. I mean, Jason Tatum, you want to come here? We actually do have some cap space. I mean, top power forwards on the market, Mobley, Barnes, yeah, all these guys are restricted. Jonathan Isaac, do I think anybody here could play the power forward position? Eh, we could enter the trade market as well. I mean, I would love to know if we could buy low on Jabari Smith Jr. Or Tari Eason, honestly. He may cost a little less. So let's see what the market is for Tari Eason. I would probably... 
I guess we'd off with Bryce McGowns. I would have read off with our top second rounder as well in Noah. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. And it will give you, we have that Terry Rozier first round pick. We have that Mavericks first. I don't think I will need to. What about two second rounders? That will probably get it done. They say no. Um, I, I guess I'll give up Kerry Booth as well. So both my second rounders, Bryce McGowns in two seconds for Eason. They say no. They probably want a first round pick in this deal. I would give up my lottery protected first round pick next year. Would that get it done? No. And I'll throw in those seconds. Will that get it done? They say no. And I'll throw in Kerry Booth. That's a decent amount for Tari Eason, who may only spend one year here. I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, they say no. All right. Never mind. I mean, yeah, that really wasn't a good offer either, but I'm not going to spend money just to spend money. Like the Lamelo Ball extension um, is already pretty much kicking in. Grant's making 13 and 14 million. I don't think I could trade that right now. He's going to come off the bench. We are going to have to pay Mark Williams next year, Nick Richards next year. So I kind of want to add some pieces this off season. I mean, Patrick Williams is intriguing, but he spent last year in Denver. He wants $16 million. I would see if that price goes down. Like, could I give Patrick Williams $14 million a year? Maybe 14 and a half. Is that too much? I mean, I think I may offer him that. So we're going to sign Patrick Williams. Uh, just another Williams on the team. He is going to play over Grant Williams. Uh, Grant will come off the bench. We're going to renounce the rates on Misic. Uh, JT Thor can come back if he really wants to. But I'm going to also look to bring back Troy Mann on a three-year extension. Kind of like similar to what maybe like Aaron Neesmith got from the Indiana Pacers. So here we are at player progression with Lamelo Ball being up as our highest overall at a 90-91. We got Brandon Miller right behind him, followed by Mark Williams, Reed Shepard, Trey Mann. I don't think Patrick Williams is gonna put us over the hump, but I still think we have like the pieces in place. We should have cap space next off season nonetheless. All right, so to look at our rotation right now, it's Lamelo, Reed Shepard, Brandon Miller. We're gonna put the other Williams, Patrick Williams into the starting lineup. Grant Williams, still a solid vet. He's gonna get like 18 minutes off the bench, or off the bench, excuse me. Trey Mann, 25 minutes. Let's go 31 to Mark. Williams. Let's go 36 to Lamelo and Brandon Miller. Let's go 32 to Reed Shepard. Nice connecting piece right there. Let's go 18 to Richards. I would like to go 20 to Nick Smith. Maybe 21 actually. Um, so I guess we're going to stick with the nine-man rotation. Uh, we can maybe give Nikola Jurisic one minute a night just so he can get some reps, some playing time. Three-star balance. We're going to keep that the same. I don't think we're going to do better this year. I just feel like last year like was a weird chance, like a weird year that we got kind of lucky, but we do start off the season 2-0. and so I will take that. All right, so we're at the trade deadline. We're the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference right now. We are eight games above 500. We're really good at home. We're better on the road this season. We are currently the seventh best offensive team in the East, uh, third best defensive team. Now, if you watch the Pacers rebuild, you know that some guys become on the market, are easier to trade for. That could be the next piece for this team, but Reed Shepard is taking a jump in year two. He's becoming untouchable status with the Mellow Ball and Brandon Miller. Nick Smith Jr. is knocking down his threes at an uh, elite clip off the bench, which is great. Troy Mann has been efficient, at least from three off the bench. Patrick Williams, yeah, 45 from three, 49 from the field, 88 from the line. Good stuff, Patrick Williams. I don't know if he's better suited as a three, but I think we're turning his career around here in Charlotte. There's Mark Williams, Grant off the bench. Maybe we make a move. I don't think I know really what to do right now. Uh, Nick Richards, I'd like to bring back. We're going to give him a similar extension, just a little bit of a pay raise. Um, I'll give him a three-year deal, so he's going to get 18 plus million guaranteed. I mean, we will have like um, Grant Williams, like that trade piece in the offseason. We don't own any random first-round picks this year. That heat pick is water protected, then becomes unprotected in 2028. Like that's far from now. We do have that Mavericks first from the PJ Washington trade as well which could be somewhat valuable. I don't really expect the Heat to be a powerhouse in the uh, Eastern Conference. So yeah, that pick could have some value for sure. But I think we're going to just kind of go with the flow this season. I'm not going to make anything too crazy. Uh, no too drastic moves right now. Uh, we don't really have anybody in these award races. And yeah, I don't think I'm getting like a top end talent in this draft, but I like where this team is headed. And then maybe we just go full throttle in 2027. All right, so Shea Gilgis Alexander wins MVP this season, the first of his career. Cooper Flagg, rookie of the year on the Memphis Grizzlies. Jairus Walker, sixth man of the year. Depoy goes to Wemby. Jairus Walker, most improved as well. And clutch player of the year. Mark Dagno in the Thunder goes 70 three and nine so even if we somehow made it to the nba finals we'd probably get smoked by them lamella ball all nba third team put up a career high in assists this season you love to see that and three point percentage as well and we ended up as the two seed in the eastern conference we're going to be going up against dame devin carter andre jackson shout out to some big east forwards there Giannis and vucevic in round number one i mean that's a good bucks team 2k doesn't like the bucks though so i'm not maybe too scared shepherd really took a step this year in year number two which which is great to see. So for the playoffs, how do we want to work this? We're probably going to stick with the nine-man rotation. I'm fine with Richards playing a decent amount. Grant could get a little bit less. I think I'm going to give the six-man minutes to 
um, Nick Smith Jr. Let's go 32 to Mark Williams. Let's go a couple more to Pat Will. I think we're good to roll with that. Take it on Milwaukee. Game number one goes to Charlotte, man. The, I don't even, I forgot what their stadium is. Is it the Spectrum Center? Ah, uh, that might be wrong. Um, I apologize. But yeah, Brandon Miller, 36 of Mel, foul, almost fouled out. He was in foul trouble. And we ended up winning by 15. And we take a 2-0 lead. We ended up beating them by seven. Brandon Miller, 27 points in game number two. Game number three goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. They ended up winning by eight. All right, every home team has won so far. Is that trend going to continue? No, we end up stealing game four in Milwaukee. Lamelo with 29 and 10, 20 points efficiently for Reed Shepard. And we end up winning in five. We win by 15. Miller with 31 points. And we advance to take on the Indiana Pacers in round number two. Wow, the eight-seeded Knicks beat the one-seeded Pistons. Did they, did they sign Tatum? No, they did sign Franz Wagner, though. So we're taking on the Pacers in round number two. Brandon Miller got it done in round number one. Good Lord. He was a beast, man. He's breaking out. So we're taking on the Pacers. Good team. Still a similar Pacers team. I mean, they could definitely beat us for sure. They got Bruce Brown back. They ended up beating us by one in Charlotte. Kind of hurts. Kind of hurts to lose by one at home. Game number two, though, goes to Charlotte. We end up winning by 13. Nice defensive performance by us here. Game number three, the first one in Indiana, goes to the Pacers. They end up winning by 14. Damn, we choked that fourth quarter. Ah, oh, that hurts. Game number four goes to Charlotte. We stay alive. We won by seven. All right, we're playing catch up here. Let's go ahead and win game number five. Boom, there we go. We are one game away from the conference finals. Do not blow a three to two lead, please. Boom, we're in the conference finals taking on the eight-seeded Knicks. All right, the Knicks are good in the sim, but they're an eight-seed. I mean, they beat the one-seed in five games and beat the five-seed in four games. That is kind of insane. They don't even have Brunson. Oh my God, it's Suggs and DiVincenzo. <laughs> and an OB Randall, Mitch Robb, Hart, McBride, Fultz. I mean, it's a good defensive team. Did they trade Brunson to Orlando? No, they didn't. He, I guess, just left in free agency. 2K just does that. I, I don't know, really know why. In round number two, Lamel was our leading scorer. And yeah, Reed Shepard is human. He was inefficient in round number two. Can we beat the Knicks in advance to the NBA Finals? Oh my God, we won game one by seven. Okay. Nine for 25 for Lamelo, and we still won. We are up 2-0. We just beat him by 15 in overtime. Oh my God, get it done. Win game three. No, we lost game three. Uh, Jalen Suggs at 25. Miller had 30, 26 for Lamelo. Are they going to make this a brand new series? No, we take a three to one lead. But we see three to one leads get blown all the time. Shout out to Nick Smith going 13 of 15 from the line. And they do force a game six. We just could not score in the fourth quarter. That is disgusting. 88 points in a playoff game. And they force a game seven. So we have blown a three to one lead all the way from potentially winning in five to now we have to win in seven. And why do I feel like it's not going to go uh, our way here? We have a good first half. I mean, we're currently up by 14 points. We're up by double digits. I'll take that. Don't choke in the third. We're up by 18 with 26 seconds left in the third. And we are going to beat the New York Knicks. Scotty Barnes, Western Conference Finals MVP on the Jazz. LaMelo Ball. And we are in the finals. All right. And we don't even have to face the OKC Thunder. What is this video? I will take that. We're taking on the Jazz, who have George, Sexton, Markinen, Barnes, and Kessler. Collins off the bench. Miles Bridges Revenge Series. Taylor Hendricks, who I could actually trade for if he's off the bench like that. John Collins would also be interesting in Charlotte for sure. Game one goes to Charlotte, though. Man, we just beat him by three. There's a chance we're going to win the finals this year, which is kind of crazy. Game two goes to the Jazz. Let me stop being cocky for just one second. So for the uh, finals, Trey Mann has not been good. He's going to get like 10 minutes a night. Same with Grant Williams as well. Like we're going to be playing uh, LaMelo and Miller 41 minutes a piece. Let's go 36 to Shepard here for the finals. Game three goes to the Jazz. Oh, they beat us by three. That sucks. Game four, don't go down three to one. All right, I got cocky. We won game one, and then we ended up well, losing close games in games three and four. Lamelo had 20 assists in game four. And we're going to... No, we forced a game six. We blew them out in game five. We scored 50 points in the third quarter. Good Lord. All right, game six at home. This is just to force a game seven, and we can't stop them. We cannot defend whatsoever, man. They have 90. Oh, my God. They have 112 points before the fourth quarter even starts. Our offense is showing up. What is our defense, man? That is embarrassing. We're down by 10. Can we go on a run? Mm, we're down by seven with two minutes left. We're down by five with a minute left. Uh, I mean, let's see what we can do. I'm not gonna, oh, damn it, they're at the line. I mean, this is Scotty Barnes. It looks like he's just taking one free, oh no, he's taking two. All right, that sucks to hop into. And 2K just put in Bryce McGowns. Why? Why is Brandon Miller not in? Reed Shepard, three ball, please. He's got a hitch to his jumper. He knocks it down. It's a four point game. Damn, the Jazz and Hornets are playing here in the 2026 NBA Finals. What is this? Oh, Keontae George for three. 
Okay, he missed that. We are still alive. We are still alive. We got to go for a two for one. Uh, Grant Williams is in the game. Why? Why, LaMelo? Oh my God, Shepard. Why did I take that three? Why? Oh my God, he hit it. It was a two. All right, I didn't need to do that. Oh my God, what a what a shot by Reed Shepard. I thought that was a three. Damn it. All right, um, let's play some defense. Uh, damn, if that was a three, we could have actually um, fouled possibly. All right, let's play good defense. Bryce McGowan's is guarding Markinen. I got to call it. Okay, Grant, get over there, Grant. Just no threes, please. Wow, he fell to the ground. We got to get McGowan's out of this game. And Grant, what is this rotation? And McGowan's is still in. What is going on? Oh my God, Lamelo, please. Lamelo, find Grant. I need an N1 here. All right. We got a foul right away. I, I don't know. Oh my God, damn it. Sexton's going to get to the line. Foul. Oh my God. Please miss one, Sexton, please. And he's got to hit the first. And Sexton is going to go two for two. All right, here we go. Uh, can we get Shepard open? All right, kick it over to Lamelo. We, oh, we got seven seconds, damn it. I got to take a fall away three. Ah, there's nothing I could do. He missed it. And for, ah, we lose in six, damn. We lost in seven last year in the conference finals. This year we lose in six in the NBA finals. Uh, another disappointing exit, but hey, we just ended up in the NBA finals. I just thought we were going to win it, man. Because watch the Thunder make it next year and then we have no shot. Chris Paul ends up in the Hall of Fame. Shout out to CP3. And lottery time. Time, these Spurs end up with the number one pick, Thunder at two. They're just going to get so much better. All right, I'm just going to go best player available, Patrick Ngumbo here at number 24. AJ DeBanta goes to the Spurs to team up with Wemby. That is insane of a duo. We also got JT Toppin, who I believe is now transferring to Texas Tech. Uh, he just withdrew from the NBA draft. We're going to pick up the team options on everybody here. Uh, Luka Doncic opts out. I mean, could we convince Luka? to come to Charlotte. So I would like to bring back Mark Williams. Uh, we'd have about $8 million. So we only really have $28 million in cap space. Uh, we could get that up a little bit more if we moved on from Grant Williams. Yeah, it'd be very tough to try to sign like a Luka Doncic. All right, Jalen Johnson is an unrestricted free agent. Could I sign him? Um, I would be able to, and I don't have to renounce the rights on Mark Williams. I will have to on McGowan, Jurisic, or Butler. So welcome to the team, Jalen Johnson. We're going to probably look to move Grant Williams or just have him be a veteran off the bench. We're going to sign Mark Williams to a four-year, $93 million extension. And you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's run this team back. We made it to the conf or not the conference finals. I said that before. The semifinals of the Eastern Conference and the NBA finals in back-to-back -back seasons. All right, so it's going to be a lineup of Lamelo, Shepard, Miller, Johnson, and Mark Williams. A very athletic one through five. Nick Smith Jr., Trey Mann, Patrick Williams, Nick Richards off the bench. We'll see how far this team can go. Three and a half star balanced. I do really hope the Jalen Johnson experiment works out. I do. I also don't mind moving him to the bench as well if it doesn't. All right. So at the trade deadline, we are 38 and 13. Our best record yet at the deadline um, by far. We are the number one team in the NBA currently with a 74% winning percentage. We are the number one offensive team. We are the number three defensive team. And here are the stats pretty much throughout the year with Brandon Miller actually averaging more points than Lamella Ball. Reed Shepard has been very efficient. Uh, Jalen Johnson has been efficient enough and the athleticism and defense is there in my opinion. I like this team a ton. Let's try to win a championship this year. And Nicole Jokic wins MVP. Cam Bruiser is your rookie of the year. Bub Carrington, six man. Wemby Depoy, Bub Carrington, most approved. Kate Clutch player of the year. Thunder went 16 22. We did give him a ball on all NBA second team. Brandon Miller, no, not to be found, unfortunately. But we did finish the season as the one seed. We're taking on the Cavs, who no longer have. Donovan Mitchell or Evan Mobley, but they do have Jason Tatum. Brandon Miller was our leading scorer from this season though. And we'll see how far this team can go in the playoffs against the eight seeded Cavs. Maybe they just don't like Tatum in this game. Jalen Johnson, 30 points to start off the playoffs. I mean, that's going to get me excited. Game two, we end up winning. We blow them out in the first two. Let's get revenge for them beating us two years ago. We go up three games to zero. That's what I'm talking about. 25 for Brandon Miller, 22 for Nick Smith. And are we going to sweep them? Yes, we do. We end up winning by seven. Reed Shepard, 26 points. Lamelo 23. So we're taking on the Orlando Magic here in round number two. They have a fun backcourt of Anthony Black and Dalton Connect. They have Middleton, Paolo, Jalen Duran, Clint Capella as well. I feel like we're able to beat them. It's a division rival, and we end up winning in five. I mean, I feel like the Hornets don't have any rivals. Same with, like, the Washington Wizards. And I know divisions really aren't a rivalry thing in the NBA, but it would be nice to build up those rivalries going forward as Reed Shepard dropped 26-7 and seven in round number two. Come on, please beat Brooklyn. They have Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, they've been getting him a lot now. They have Franz. They have Walker Kessler. They have Noah Clowney. It's a good team. And we are going to... Oh, my God. We almost blow the three to one lead. But here we are in the NBA Finals for the second straight season. Or, yeah, we were up three to one. Beaten by two in game one. Um, they blew us out in game two. We blew them out in game three. 
blow them out in game four. Oh my God, LaMelo, 39 points in 29 minutes. And then we get blown out in game five, lose by four in game six, and won by two in game seven. Oh my God. But the Thunder, man, they're 12 and four in the playoffs. This is just the team I'm afraid of. And we had to beat the Jazz last year. Game one goes to the Hornets by one point. Brandon Miller at 44. Game two goes to the Hornets by four. Oh my God, we're winning the close ones. Brandon Miller has been in the big moments now. Uh, they won game three by three points. And I have a feeling it's going to be a brand new series. No, we take a three to one lead. Every game has been relatively close. Can we win in five? No. Can we win in six? Oh my God. All right. Here's the video right here. Game seven of the NBA Finals. We were in game six of it last year. Please don't lose. You guys are, okay, we're looking good. We're up by 23 points in the third. Don't choke this. And the Charlotte Hornets are going to win your 2027 NBA Finals. Hell yeah, man. LaMelo, 36 points. Reed with 18. Man with 15. And yeah, LaMelo Ball Finals MVP. Let's go. I did not expect to have this many OG Hornets on the team. LaMelo, Miller, this number six overall pick in Reed Shepard. We had Mark Williams, Nick Smith Jr., Trey Mann, um, Nick Richards, Grant Williams. That's a decent amount. And yeah, like Brandon Miller and LaMelo Ball got it done. Reed Shepard was the perfect draft pick to add to that duo. So that is going to be for me. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, I would appreciate you dropping a thumbs up. Let me know who you want me to draft in the number seven and number 14 overall pick, Portland Trailblazers rebuild, because that will be on the come up. So just be on the lookout for that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.